I think Bill Braden is an excellent police chief, but on this one, he's making even less sense than Brittany did the day she got committed. I mean, it's ridiculous to think that it's shame on Brittany. It's shame on us. If we as a society can't behave ourselves around Brittany, then really it's, it's our problem. It, it's not Brittany's. And these issues are really rare and isolated incidents. You know, recall the recent incident of Paris Hilton, and she was crushed by paparazzi when she had that DUI arrest, and she was going back to jail. And now, I mean, the only thing we've seen from Paris is her writhing around half naked in a cocktail glass in Las Vegas at her birthday. And by the way, nothing says I'm a grown up now like writhing around in a <laughs> yeah. cocktail glass. But, you know, she can go into Starbucks now, and no one cares. LA is full of celebrities, and really, it's okay. We don't care that much. Yeah, but we do see. Well, it, and it will be interesting to see how the prosecution cleans up their witnesses. You know, this was a preliminary hearing, which of course is held in front of a judge. It's like a mini trial in that you get to cross examine folks, but there's no jurors there to decide. And it will be really interesting to see whether these people's neckties get straightened and their earrings get pulled off <laughs> and how they actually present when they're doing it in front of 12 people who ultimately have the real decision to make in the case. Darren, it seems like a dumb move to me. Or so clever, it only appears to be a dumb move, <laughs> AJ. <laughs> you are. You know, Gina Gershon's lawyers are the lawyers that celebs typically go to to keep their names out of the paper. So either this was a massive backfire or this really was by design. I think if there's anything that's credible about his position, it's the idea that those people who committed similar crimes, who are above the age of 18, are in general population and they get other amenities and other privileges, such as being able to watch TV or make more liberal use of phone. Yeah. But in this case, he's now alone with his thoughts. And frankly, that's probably both at the same time, terrifying and incredibly boring, and that may be punishment enough. Oh, sure, and listen, Heather representing herself makes as much sense as trying to remove her own appendix. If she does this, it really proves that she has two full scoops of crazy in her breakfast cereal. It is not a good idea. She's not going to get any special help from the court, but yes, if she's allowed to do this, she will be permitted to ask him questions, and that may feel great for her and cost her several million dollars. You know, go get a therapist and do it that way, but please get a lawyer. It's so funny that you say that, AJ, because I was just in New York last week and his cell looks a little bit larger than my room at the boutique hotel uh, where I was staying. Um, and at least in this case, he gets to enjoy a shower by himself. If he were in general population where inmates often get to enjoy such things as fighting with other inmates or sexual assaults, he'd probably be whining even more. And frankly, from my perspective, that particular jury instruction is far more important than any other. I agree. More important even than the reasonable doubt instruction. I, I which agree. I or think at least jurors, frankly, often don't understand and don't pay attention to anyway. <laughs> don't say that, Darren. Don't say that. No, I agree with you. At least as important as the reasonable doubt. I mean, look, if we can't control ourselves as a society when we're in Britney's midst, it's shame on us, not shame on Britney. We don't take somebody's liberty away because we can't behave when she's around, which is essentially what happened. <laughs> happened yesterday and and it's just not fair that we're going to what keep her constrained because we don't know how to act yeah that's true Dare. I mean you're making a terrific point okay nothing says love and like skim milk and wheatgrass we all know that but Darren should she just zip it already yeah it's either skim milk and wheatgrass or perhaps in her case it's a gag in your mouth and a restraining order um, yeah zipping it would be a good idea but at this point Brooke I think it's a day late and a dollar short she's already been convicted of lunacy in the court of public opinion and she has all the charm and appeal of a Lincoln Tunnel window washer so <laughs> I, I think uh, we're we're past the point of where, of where zipping it is a good idea and at this point everybody is identifying with her husband and saying, yeah, dude, we feel for you. You should have done this a long time ago. Okay, Darren, in court, would all of this seem courageous or just plain stupid? 
Well, the tarot card routine and, and the tarot card defense doesn't generally go over well unless your judge's name is Merlin, and even then you may have some <laughs> troubles. And I, I don't know about putting her in the stocks and throwing tomatoes at her. I think they probably would have just shoved one in her mouth. She, uh, she's not going to serve her own needs in her court case, in all seriousness, by putting this stuff out there. If anything, she's just shown that she's, she's got crazy eyes, that she's irrational, and, and really it does foster a level of understanding and adds credibility to whatever her husband's going to be alleging in court. Darren, would you agree there's still a lot more to prove, albeit that she's been on this great trajectory and, and we really like the trend that we've been seeing? Yeah, AJ, just because her mode of transportation today was a white Range Rover and not a hospital gurney doesn't mean that we're ready to give those kids back to her yet. Uh, she's still a lot closer to one flew over the cuckoo's nest than she is to the Brady Bunch. It's only been three months since her last forced psychiatric hospitalization. So everybody's going to be very guarded about giving Brittany back too much. Uh, and as Jane correctly points out, there is still her father who looms large because of that conservatorship. Brittany doesn't even have the legal capacity to enter into contracts. So before we're going to trust her with the kids, we need to see a lot more progress. As Whitney Houston saying, those children are our future. So we need to be careful to protect what's in their best interest and to make sure that we're not putting them at some kind Kind of risk. Well, I'm glad you broke down the numbers because I forgot my abacus. But when I look at that breakdown and I compare that to another big case in the media, such as disgraced New York Governor Elliot Spitzer, I think Elliot Spitzer is now a, a bargain hunter compared to that. I mean, look at those numbers. It's amazing. Could she have gotten more if she had, say, Darren Cavanoki or some other fine attorney representing her? Probably she could have. Darren Cavanoki says you can't blame the websites of the internet for how their information is used. Just like with, with superheroes, you hope that they use their powers for good <laughs> rather than evil. Right. And, and it's really true here for YouTube as well. Yeah, she certainly has not been a fan favorite. And I must tell you, AJ, I've represented both pedophiles and murderers. And you know what? Any of them would trade places with her in a second. You think? So, yeah, I think she should just keep her mouth shut, take the money, and run. Okay, I mean, but wait a second. Well, she there's no question that we want celebrities talking to the press. I mean, that's lots of fun, and that's what keeps some of us in business, isn't it? But... But the truth of the matter is, like in the United States, you don't mess with Texas, and in England, you don't mess with Paul. I mean, the guy's royalty, for God's sake. And clearly, you don't mess with Darren Kevinoki and Lisa Bloom. And I appreciate you both being with us tonight. Yeah, unless, as Ashley says, we have some witness to some groping, or we have a blue dress with some DNA on it that turns up, you definitely want to deny, deny, deny in a case like this. I'm sorry, Vinny, I still have the Laverne and Shirley theme song going through my head. <laughs> From the Shlomio oh, Shlomazel. Yes. Uh, let, me, let me refocus here. Who's telling the truth? Who's telling Who the truth? Who knows at this point? People in divorce cases squabble over everything. And sometimes it's just, it's not that they want the item so much themselves. They just don't want the other person to have it. And I think this was her way of saying, I hate you so much that I'd like to limit your access to certain words of the English language. Yeah, I think keeping her mouth shut would be a good idea. And she has what those in the medical community refer to professionally as crazy eyes. So I don't think she's helping her cause here by continuing to go on any kind of a media tour. It's already cost her a high profile, world renowned defense attorney. And so, um, yeah, I think it might be better just to quite quietly move on, although if there is method to her madness, it may be that she'll trumpet this loudly and often enough that he'll just pay her a, a big sum of money to shut up and go away.